Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to use the Color Dodge Blend mode to create a kind of pastel effect. So what we do is we start off with the basic layer, hit Ctrl J to duplicate it twice. Then for the top layer, we hit Ctrl I, is going to invert it. We then want to convert this to black and white. You can use the HSL or other means of converting it. Uh, what we're going to use here is we're going to go down to the adjustments and go to black and white. And we're going to come back to this in a moment because when I click on the layer again here, the controls disappear, but we can see it's black and white. But what I'm going to do now is go to the blend mode of this and change that to color dodge. And everything kind of goes white. So like, where's the pastel? There's sort of bits in here. But to bring it out, bring back up the black and white control. And now what we're going to do is these controls not really going to move them right because you don't get much if you turn it to the right. But when you go left, it starts bringing out the opposite colour. So the opposite of red is cyan. So you get some cyans coming out there. The opposite of yellow is blue, so we can introduce some blue. Opposite green is magenta, so that brings up magentas. Opposite of cyan is the orange yellow there, so that's bringing that up. Opposite of blue... Um, that's opposite of our sign is red, isn't it? Brings up the reds. Opposite of blue is yellow, so that brings in more yellows. And the opposite of magenta is green, and that brings up the greens. So you've got control here to balance the parts of the picture you've got. So you've already got a very pastel approach here, but there's very little in the way of the black and white elements that make it more of a picture. So to get this, there's two ways of doing this, which we're going to show. I'm going to click on this and shift click on the one below it so we're grouping it with a control g now i can put an extra blend mode on this so i click on the pass through there and just go down to soft light and there we go there is a nicely pastelized picture which you can there's the original and there's that pastel toning to it it just makes it lighter it gives that that kind of color effect to it that makes it you know, the sort of thing that looks a bit more romantic or something like that. What you can do as well with this, I can shift click on the bottom here and hit Control G to group that. I'm just going to call that one soft for the soft light version. I can hit Control J to duplicate the whole thing and call this one multiply, and you'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to take that. And the bottom one here, I'm going to drag that up to above that there. The bottom one here was soft light. I'll just put that back to normal. Uh, and the layer above it here, I'm going to change that to multiply. And, and again, you've got the sort of slightly darker version now, but also with that color toning. So here we go. So we've got the multiply version and the soft version. You go soft. And multiply and if you want to see the original again let's pull one of these out Control j and drag that up to the top and there's the original so the original multiply and soft that's it very quick and easy thank you very much for watching